Black Lives Matter, the hashtag, there's an inherent two at the end of it. What we're saying is Black Lives Matter too. I want you to understand that my life, my body, this matters as well. And I think that this resonates with people no matter where you are. For so long, we were just property. We were also at one point three-fifths of a human for the sake of congressional representation. And so I think this movement is trying to articulate the reasons why black folks should be five-fifths, right? It all started when Trayvon Martin was killed by George Zimmerman. And Trayvon Martin was a black teenager who had on a hoodie. George Zimmerman felt threatened. He felt threatened, so he decided to follow someone. And so he took his life away. I remember Obama said, like, if I had a son, he looked like Trayvon. Like, my brother looks like Trayvon. It could be your cousin. It could be your brother. It could be you next. There have been much more aggressive cases of police killing before thinking. They see someone and they think something might be wrong, so they just shoot to kill versus disarming, shoot to wound, thinking critically before you jump on someone who half lazily fits the description you were chasing. I could walk out here right now and I might fit this description of something. You see a black body and automatically be either intimidated, scared, threatened. The idea that police officers get to be the jury judge and executioner is what is always on my mind. That's what we don't like the immediate killing of us without finding reason, and half the time being wrong. When the police were killed in Dallas, we stood up and said, this was wrong, this man does not represent our movement, and we hope that he's brought to justice, which he was. But on the flip side, if all lives matter, then like all these police officers that are killing all these unarmed men and women wouldn't be held accountable. People have been experiencing this trauma and these violences forever, but now Hashtag has given us a community. Social media has made the experience of black people more visible because black folks now have a chance to share our experiences. There's a lot of witnesses. Everybody has a camera phone, and, and you know the fact that we can record these things and send them out making people aware that these are things happening is even more what's significant about our time today. This fear of blackness, we're human beings, and that's the missing thread to all this. When it goes back to your first question, Black Lives Matter, what we're saying is that we're human too, that we're people too. Because the world is not just one race, the world is not just one culture. If you want us to be great, if you want the world to be great, we can't do it separated. My name is Derrica Cole Washington, and I'm a global citizen. My name is Andre Singleton. I am Victoria. My name is Jessica Lynn. My name is Najee Omar. My name is Rashad Drakeford. My name is Stacey Ann Ellis, and I'm a global citizen.